Miss Andrea, it is Laura Osnes. So great to hear from you again. Thank you so much for reaching out. I hope you are well and enjoying summer. Happy Pride. Um, okay, I will do my best to answer your questions. Number one, what was it like to perform in the Three Penny Opera? You have the same birthday as Kurt Vile. That's pretty cool. Um, Three Penny Opera, to be honest for me, was a little, um, it was kind of that dark, and artsy off-Broadway experience. I was very grateful to be a part of it. I was working with legends like Mary Beth Peel and Michael Park and F. Murray Abraham, who brought his Oscar um, on stage a few nights and would hide it in like in set pieces and props uh, to surprise us during the show. So um, I had a very good time doing it, um, but it was very kind of unconventional and outside the box for me, which made it a fun challenge. Um, second, how did you meet your husband? Nate and I did a show together in Minnesota. We were both in the ensemble and understudied the leads who ended up colliding on stage one day and Nate and I went on together and our first kiss was on stage and we started dating a few days later. And we've now been married 14 years. <laughs> um, do you share a birthday with any other actors? I recently found out that Alice and Janney and I have the same birthday, so that's cool. And also Meg Ryan has my same birthday. And uh, director choreographer Rob Ashford. If you follow Broadway at all, you will know who Rob Ashford is and he and I have the same birthday. Um, which is November 19th. Uh, what is the one thing you have learned about yourself that you will take with you from having lived during the pandemic? I think for me, um, the uh, just an attitude of gratitude and the, that there is life and a purpose beyond Broadway and what I do. Um, that there, there is meaning and how at the importance of family and um, my faith and all of, all of that just became so much more important to me in a time where I couldn't be on stage singing and performing, which is what my world kind of revolved around. And when all of that was canceled, I think we were, we were all forced to find other sources of purpose kind of for the better. And I grew as a person and, uh, and even as an artist in this time, and I was challenged to think outside the box and also find peace with who I was without that. And so that's what I have learned and that's what I will carry with me um, in the months and years to come. What was it like to sing the song, When You Smile? It was fun. I was really honored to be asked to uh, sing on their album, on a David, uh, Daniel and Laura Curtis's album. And I thought that was a, it was a very sweet song. I, it obviously, it's like you have a rehearsal and then you go perform it. So I didn't really have, to be honest, that much of a, a personal connection. I was like, that's very sweet. This is a sweet song. Let's lay it down in the studio and then move on with our lives. Um, so I haven't really, I haven't sung it since, um, but it's very special to have. It's really cool well, that's what's really great about making a recording is that it gets to last forever and I'm so glad that you found it and um, are loving it um, advice on having survivors survivors guilt here's the thing you are special and you, you you are unique and you are here for a purpose and you're here to make a difference and every moment and breath and day that we get on this earth while we are alive is a gift and um, anything can happen to anybody at any time so enjoy each day and and if you if you wallow in in that it's okay to feel compassion and empathy and sadness toward people who have lost loved ones toward people who um, are going through hardships in their life um, but you are here for a reason every day that you are alive and so um, don't squander it use it uh, favorite song and role you have ever done through your career as an actress in musical theater? Uh, I think it's very hard to choose. It's very hard to choose a favorite role because they're all like, they're like, it's like choosing your favorite child. I can't choose. They're all very special to me for very different reasons. Um, but as far as songs, I think How About a Dance will be one of my favorites forever. And I really like Wonderful Guy from South Pacific. I sing that for a lot of things. And Love Will Come and Find Me Again from Bandstand. Um, that's it. Favorite songs that brings you hope is Welcome Home. Oh, wow. I'm so glad that brings you hope. For me, that song is um, <laughs> it's tied to a lot of... Um, 
like tra like tragedy and and hardship and strength and endurance. Um, I'm glad it brings you hope. It was a very difficult song to sing every night um, and a, a difficult journey for that character to get to go on, but an honor, such an honor to get to sing for sure. And so I think going back to that whole survivor's guilt thing, I think if you if, if that's how you live every day, it's just, it's so important to hold on to hope and remember why you are here and that you are important and you are making a difference. Um, yeah. All right. I think that's it, Andrea. Thank you so much. I hope you are well. I hope this makes you smile. And um, I hope our paths cross again soon. Mwah.